At some point, everyone experiences feelings of loneliness, a sense of isolation that can seem overwhelming. But even in our loneliest moments, we're not truly alone. <laughs> Don't believe me? Listen to what God has to say about this in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. In this verse, God speaks to His people, offering reassurance of His unwavering presence and support. So let's dig into understanding how this promise can help us overcome loneliness and how we can apply this truth in our daily lives. Deuteronomy 31.6 isn't just a call to bravery in the face of external threats. It's a reminder of God's constant presence with us, even in our internal battles, such as loneliness. When God tells us not to be afraid or panic, He acknowledges the reality of our fears and worries, including the fear of being alone. Yet He promises that He is personally with us, going ahead of us in every situation. This assurance is incredibly comforting. It tells us that no matter how isolated we may feel, God is there. He has not forgotten us, nor has He left us to navigate our struggles alone. His presence is a constant steadfast source of comfort and companionship. So how do we cultivate the ability to know and experience His presence? First, remember God's promise. In moments of loneliness, remind yourself of God's promise that He will never leave you nor forsake you. This can be a source of great comfort and strength. Next, engage the Bible. Spend time reading and meditating on God's Word. Scriptures are full of God's promises of His presence and faithfulness. Let these truths fill your heart and mind. Third, pursue Christian relationships. Sure, we can survive alone, but we can't thrive alone. While God's presence is paramount, He also works through people. Stay connected with a community of believers. Participate in church activities, small groups, or online Christian communities like this. These connections can be tangible expressions of God's love and presence. Next, serve others. Often serving others can help alleviate feelings of loneliness. Look for opportunities to volunteer, support a friend, or engage in acts of kindness. Through service, we not only bless others, but also find a sense of belonging and purpose. Last, hold nothing back from God in prayer. Prayer is a powerful way to combat loneliness. Be honest with God about how you feel. Share your fears, share your hopes, and your struggles. Prayer is just a conversation with a God who listens and cares deeply for you. Loneliness can be a difficult journey but it's not a path we walk alone. Deuteronomy 31.6 reminds us that God is always with us, offering strength, courage, and companionship. His promise to never leave us is a beacon of hope in the midst of our loneliness. As we hold on to this promise, let us be encouraged to strengthen our relationship with Him and with the community of believers around us. With God, friend, you are never alone. And now that you know this, go win today.